This is Coach Evan, and welcome back to the Ravens Roundup. This is part three on our, our new free agent pickups. Uh, this one will be about Michael Floyd. Again, this will be a quick video. I'm uh, going to go over his stats, uh, go over what I saw on film from 2017, 2018. And um, go ahead and hit that like button and before we get started. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit subscribe also. Uh, looking at his, uh, his framework, his stats from, um, from just his overall buildup, Mike Floyd is 6'3", 200 pounds. Uh, I'm not going to run through his stat line, but just know he had um, some good early years. And then he kind of fell off going, you know, as the, as the time went on. And we'll talk about that a little bit more as the video goes on. All right. Uh, again, obviously we're looking at big body receivers because this guy is 6'3", uh, 220 so pounds. So, but we'll get into why I keep mentioning that later on in the video. Uh, from looking at his 2017 film with the Vikings and 2018 film with the Redskins, he only had 10 catches with the Vikings in 2017. I only played 11 games, but keep in mind, he was at least the third, if not fourth receiver on that team because they had uh, Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen, and he was the third receiver or the fourth receiver because they had Laquan Treadwell also. Uh, most of his catches were around the line of scrimmage, and uh, when looking at the film, I was thinking, they're using this guy kind of like a, a out-of-line tight end. So they would, they would kind of like flex him out, and he would run like underneath routes, and he uh, fake like he was blocking to come out on like a play action stuff like that. So a lot of stuff they did with him kind of to me looked like they used him as a smaller uh, pass receiving tight end. But you know, again, keep in mind all his catches were around, around the line of scrimmage, hence him finishing with 10 catches for only 78 yards in that year. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film Then More Film, or Fruit Tomatoes and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. Now if we go to 2018, um, I, uh, from his film from that, he had 10 catches also. Uh, two of them were dig routes, and those are the only – Two catches that I saw were like real routes, so I'm gonna talk about those a little bit later. Uh, the rest of his routes were uh, slants, bubbles, or shallows. And shallow meaning you, you take one step and you kind of go flat across the line of scrimmage. You replace the D lineman. Uh, he ran a dig route on one, one of the plays and he set it up like an out route. So he got into his route, ran his 10 or 12 yards, and kind of gave a head and shoulder fake to, on like he was running a 10 yard out, but then st stuck it and ran a dig on it. Now, in theory, that's great. And he caught the ball, so, you know, the catch is, is what matters. But the time it took him to give that head and shoulder fake, then come back and run the dig, and yeah, yeah. Like, he looked like an older guy. That's when it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't quick enough to, to be considered um, like our young guys do. They can change directions without really slowing down. He almost stopped on his, his transition. So that's, that's one of the things that – kind of sold me, well, didn't sell me on him not being able to run routes down the field because I don't think he's at a point where he can change direction without slowing down now. Uh, he did make the catch, which is, which is good. And the positive things I see from Michael Floyd is he catches the ball with his hands and he does a good job of catching balls in traffic. I saw a couple of slant routes and maybe they were even slant stops where uh, people like would cross his face real quick while they were trying to go to the back and he would still catch the ball and things like that. And I saw a couple of bad, ball, bad thrown balls but he went up and got the ball, you know, with his hands and, and, and didn't body catch and was able to high point the ball pretty well. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Uh, his best year was in 2013. He had 65 catches for 1,041 yards. He was with Arizona at the time. Uh, his next two years were solid also. Uh, he averaged 845 yards over that two-year span. But everything from there went downhill. And lastly, I want to say what he would bring to the Baltimore Ravens wide receiver room. He's 6'3", 220 pounds. So obviously we're looking for bigger body receivers to pair with our tight ends and Marquise Brown. Uh, he's a vet that can provide experience. And mainly I think he's there to push the young, young, push the young wide receivers and be competition to them. Uh, the Ravens brass want the wide receiver room uh, that can be cutthroat and let the best men sit on the uh, iron throne. And I had to throw that iron throne out there because I'm, I'm having Game of Thrones withdrawal. But again, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and this 
It was going to be quick. I, you know, not enough, not enough film to even put out there, but I appreciate you guys. Make sure you uh, go to Teespring and get a shirt. I sold a couple last week. Uh, athletes, uh, Ravens Roundup, Sip the Tally shirts, a few more things, a few more special things in there, a few more things I got I got coming also. And I appreciate you guys' support. This is Coach Evans, and I'm out. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Sip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tell it.